our seats. I'll tell you a story about three kids that grew up together. They lived in a small town and went to a small church. So throughout their childhood, everything about them was kind of small. The church they went to, they were the only kids there. Does that sound familiar, Brian? Yeah. Okay. So their names were Tom, Lisa, and Jim. And they spent almost their entire childhoods together. Tom, as he started to grow up, he became very athletic. Um, he spoke really well. People liked him a lot. He was outgoing. Lisa was very smart. She liked books. She was outgoing as well. Jim, on the other hand, Jim was very shy. He was more comfortable with animals than he was with people. So you know how it is in a church that as a child you're growing up, at a certain age, the adults start looking at you and asking you, well, what do you want to do here in the church? So Jim, you know, Tom and Lisa, they had no problem because they weren't afraid to get up in front of people. They weren't afraid to speak. They weren't afraid to sing. But Jim, on the other hand, like I said, he was really shy. And every time they would ask him to do something, he'd go, no, you need to ask Tom or Lisa because they're much better than me. And Tom and Lisa really wanted Jim to understand and get that feeling of what it's like to actually work for God. Okay? And the joy that comes with that. But he would get so scared when he just even thought about getting up in front of people. You ever get scared about talking in front of people? How about you? You get to play piano. You ever get scared? No, but you ever get scared in front of people? You're hiding right now. <laughs> Your hands get all sweaty. Mm -hmm. Jim would get physically ill if he thought about it too much. Okay? So one day, Tom and Lisa decided that they wanted to do something with the three of them. That they were going to sing a song. They knew that the two of them could do it, but it was going to be really hard to convince Jim to actually help them. So they had a really good day at church. They brought him to the side and they asked him, listen, next Sabbath we want to sing this song. But it's a song that requires three people and there's only two of us. We need you to help. Nobody ever really remembered about hearing whether Jim could sing or not because he never really spoke in church. He didn't sing loud when they sang the congregational hymns. So his first response was, no, I can't do that. I'm so scared. But they asked him, they said, do you believe in the promises that the Bible makes? He goes, yes. They asked him, do you believe that the Bible is inspired? He said, yes. He said, well, do you have faith that Jesus will be with you if you get out there and start singing with us? He goes, I believe, but I need God to help my unbelief. And so they said, listen, let's pray and let's do this. Because we think that if you actually do this once, you'll see what a pleasure it is to work for God. So all week they practiced. And all week when they practiced, all you heard was Tom and Lisa. And, and, and Jim was just kind of like, you ever see those kids in the choir that just mouth the words they don't actually say? Okay, that's what he was doing. But sat, now it's Sabbath and they told him, listen, you have to actually sing. And you have to be a part of this or it's not going to sound well. So now, Tom and Lisa were actually nervous. So they get up there, it's actually time to do their part. And the piano starts to play. Tom and Lisa start to sing. And Jim's just kind of mouthing the words. And Lisa takes her elbow and just elbows him in the side. And they both gave him a look. You ever get that look from people? That look that you better do this? So they got that look, and all of a sudden, Jim started to sing. And the amazing thing is, is the young man had a beautiful voice, but he was so afraid and he was so nervous in front of people that he never actually used that gift. So they do this song, and the people in the congregation, their mouths were like, because nobody ever heard this kid hardly ever talk, but yet he sung beautifully. And after the service was over, they asked them, Nobody knows that you can sing like this. He goes, well, I only sing to my animals because I like animals and I'm a couple from the people. But they asked him, well, how were you able to do this today? He goes, listen, 
I listened to what you guys said, and I had to make a choice. And do I really believe what God's book says? And he said, I made up my mind that I would trust Jesus to help me through this. And Jesus did. So I tell you that story, and I tell you this story because, again, the nominating committee is going to come to you adults and ask you to help. Brianna, you guys, as you continue to grow, you're going to have opportunities to work in the church. Were you nervous today with the mic? No, you did a really good job. You played piano, really good job. Gilbert, as you get older, I've seen you up here with your parents and you help sing. You're going to have the opportunity, you guys too are going to have the opportunity to work for Jesus in the church. And you have to be able to not let your fear stop you from doing that. The same with you adults. When you're asked about helping out, don't allow fear to stop you from receiving the blessing that comes from working for God. Amen. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Brianna, can you pray for us? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this day. Teach us to not be like Jim. Jim. Tomorrow we aren't too shy to do that. Amen. Amen.